The generation of the toxic carbon monoxide occurs in many combustion reactions. The following is a chemical reaction for one of such incomplete combustions. All right, so we have a chemical reaction here. So I always like to highlight that for myself. And now next we have what mass in grams okay, of CO2 is generated if 0 0.5 kilograms of CH4 is used to completion. They give us the molar masses. So we have molar masses here. That is of CO and CH4. And these are given right here. And it says respectively, which means the first one is CO and the second one is CH4. And we want to keep our answer to the one. All right, so let's write down our givens here for this reaction. First thing is always write the actual reaction itself. Once you have your reaction, you will start with all the numbers that they give us. Now, the first one is 0 0.5 kilograms. And that is of CH4. Again, notice that I am putting subscripts on my units for all chemical reactions. So that is the first given. And then they give us two molar masses, okay, which is 28 grams per mole, which I always like to write in the following way. So this was of CO, so that equals to one mole of CO. So that's the first one. And now the second one, write 16 grams of CH4 equals to one mole of CH4. Okay, so that is now all our givens. So what am I solving for again? Well, I want to know the mass in grams of CO. So I will say let M, and it's M mass of CO, be the mass of CO. And you can say here, if you like, in grams. And now, next, we can try to set up our equation. So we need these givens in order to do this. So the first thing that you always start is with the given that has just a single unit. Okay, so there's nothing else. And that is this one. And if you're reading these questions, you will notice that you have that given always provided to you first, okay, when they ask you the question which you're supposed to solve for. So that is really your starting point. So here, so my starting point, okay, only has, so this is kilograms, C H4. All right, so now we have defined our variable, okay? And we need to start with our givens. Now, what am I gonna be starting here? The first thing that I actually notice is that you have to keep in mind once you write your givens is that you try to set up and have consistent units. So I actually don't have consistent units here because I noticed that I have kilograms and then I have grams. But I do know, so right here, that 0 0.5 kilograms, so it's a, just a prefix, okay, so the kilo. So this is simply 500 grams of CH4. And remember, a kilo is a thousand. 
So now I have grams everywhere within these givens, so it becomes consistent. So I can now begin the question. So let's start. I am solving for the mass of CO equals. Now we always begin with the given that has just a single unit. So you never begin here with the reaction. You will never begin with any of your molar masses. Okay, so that's these guys right here. Okay, so you're not going to be starting with any of those. So you always start, okay, so right here with the one that has just a single unit. So we have 0 0.5, I'm sorry, we changed it to grams there. So it's 500 grams of CH4. So that's our starting point. And now the game in all of these reactions is basically just to cancel units. So I have this unit right here on top, grams of CH4. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put it at the bottom because I know that I have to cancel it out because I don't want the grams of CH4. I actually want grams of CO, okay? So I want this, grams of CO here, okay? That's what I'm looking for. So if I put grams of CH4 at the bottom, now I can go back to my givens and find grams of CH4. Oh, I see it right here. So I have here grams of CH4. So I will put the grams, which is 16, that's that, and the one that it equals will go on top. So that's one mole of CH4. And now I've used that given. So, so far I have used this given right here, and I've used the last one. Remember in chemical reactions, once you use a given, you cannot use it again. So, great, my grams of CH4 now cancel, but I'm stuck with these moles of CH4 on top. So I will continue with my multiplications. And again, what I'm gonna do is I don't want moles of CH4, so I'll put that on the bottom. And now I'm gonna look and see for myself. Okay, where can I find moles of CH4? Well. It's definitely not here because this is CO. So I have to go and use the reaction. So in the reaction, I have to find CH4. So that's right here. Okay, so I have four of those. Okay, so it's coming from there. And now what do I put on top? Because I have all of these different things like oxygen, okay, and even have water on the right-hand side and so on. Well, what goes on top is associated with the other givens that you have remaining. So the only other given that I have remaining is this one. And I notice that that given is CO. So I will look for CO, and CO is right here. And that is the only thing that I use, and I will put that on top, so I have two moles of CO. So remember that these numbers in front, okay, so those ones are designated how many moles you have of each that you're using in the reaction. So that's it. All the other ones that you have, so all of these ones, you do not use because you only need two of them. One goes at the bottom and one goes on top. So moles of CH4 cancel, great. And I have used, okay, so this reaction. So I've used pretty much everything except this right here, which I'm gonna use now at the end. So notice what happens, okay, I wanna cancel moles of CO, so that goes at the bottom, moles of CO. And, okay, so that's associated with the one, okay, so that's coming from right here. And then the 28 grams of CO will go on top. And that cancels your moles, and now you're left with exactly what you wanted. So notice this is what we wanted. And that completes the setup of this. 
and now we can just go ahead and multiply and I like to do this all in one step so I just want to show you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply all the numbers on top okay and then divide okay by the bottom so let me take so I have 500 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 28 okay I hit equals so that's what I have on top now some people like to write it down I just simply go ahead and then say okay so divided by and then I'll open brackets and then I will multiply all the ones at the bottom because I'm dividing by those so 16 and times 4 and times 1 okay and then I close my bracket okay so that's coming from the denominator then I just hit equals and I will get my answer so 437.5 now I have to kind of check uh, they wanted the answer to the 1 so let me round this off so 438 and it is now grams of CO and that is your mass that completes this question hope you found this useful thank you for watching